Hi everybody, this is Granny Bell, and I want to talk today, I'll be walking around so don't mind that please, I want to talk today about what is salvation. Now, I have had people, you know, go to the older videos and, and they state that um, uh, salvation, that uh, they went to one of my older videos and, and they stated that uh, I didn't know Jesus as my Savior and they were scared for my soul, so to speak, and that I was teaching of works and not teaching, uh, I had four false doctrines in my thing, I was answering a thing on this other guy, and um, this was uh, 2010, and uh, so, salvation is a gift from God, he sent Yeshua Mashiach to this precious earth, and uh, when Jesus sent Yeshua to this earth to come and re-undo what Adam failed to do in the Garden of Eden. Now, in the Garden of Eden, uh, that's right. Okay, in the Garden of Eden, is that? I'm so sorry about that. Okay, in the Garden of Eden, uh, Adam, as you all know, him and Eve fell. Uh, they ate. Uh, well, Adam was with Eve in the garden, and Adam, I mean Eve, was told of the fruits of the tree. Nobody knows what that fruit was, okay, brothers and sisters and non-believers. Um, it says fruit. I don't know where apple came in at. Some say pomegranate. I don't know what it is. We don't know. We won't know until that day if we make it into heaven. Um, but the Lord uh, Father God, Abba, asked Jesus. They planned it before they created us, the foundation of the world. Of course God knew mankind would fail him. I mean, of course he knew that. And, um, well, Adam, turn that down. And, um, Adam, uh, failed us. Jesus came as the second Adam to set us all, all of us free from he 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 hell. Okay. He gave us the victory over hell through Yeshua, Jesus, uh, the anointed one. Uh, Christ means the anointed one. And he came to set us free from the portals of hell that we don't have to go there. Okay, Jesus came as a child. He was born of a virgin and her name was Mary, which most everybody knows that. And uh, when Jesus came, he walked served for 33 years. In the three years he started his ministry when he was 30, Jesus started, I mean, Jesus healed the sick. He healed the lame. He did great miracles. He stood up to the religious people of the land that day, in that day. And I was my two girls. And in that land. And, um... When he, uh, well, I know I'm not making sense right now. Holy Spirit, help me. When he, um, told his disciples, he's, you know, that, um, that he will, you know, they'll build this temple in three days. Um, he will rebuild this temple in three days. He'll rise it up again. And they were thinking physical temple. What he was talking about is physical body. When Jesus died on Calvary, he was bruised for our iniquity, our sin. He was chastised for our peace. And that means our mental catastrophe as we walk this earth. We can have peace while we walk this earth. Even though all seems like your world's coming apart. Well, Jesus steps into that 
and Jesus, um, yes, Jesus, 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 and the path to him, oh, Jesus, that? Oh, Jesus, and Jesus, um, and the sword, but his path he made for us to be able to, um, which stand uh, the evil one. When Jesus stood at Calvary, Jesus, uh, I mean, he'll, he'll go back. Oh, he was bruised for our iniquity and chastised for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we were healed of diseases. We were healed. That means it's already accomplished. That means it has to... When we stand on the word, the manifestation comes into our bodies. A lot of people say, well, my aunt, she stood on the word and she went home anyway. Uh, I honestly can't tell you what that means. Um, I know many times I could have passed away and uh, Jesus has stepped in on my behalf. Um, and I don't have anybody that I really know that prays for me. And I mean really intercedes... I've uh, been told a few times I was going to pass away a few, and uh, the Lord has stepped in on my behalf. That's all I can tell you is, but Jesus, um, when he died on the Calvary, they were cruel to him. Jesus wept with mercy and compassion because he loved them. Now, remember, a lot of people say, well, the Jews killed Jesus. No, the Jews did not. Jesus says, I gave my life, and I give my life free willingly. No one takes my life. I lay my life down free willingly. Now, that's what Jesus said. And, or Yeshua. Uh, he said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man can come unto the Father except through me. And... When Jesus uh, died on, on Calvary, he forgave a sinner, uh, a thief, <laughs> he merciful. and Jesus went to hell, he paid our penalty, he stripped hell, now when he gave up his spirit, his ghost, as the Bible calls it, or spirit man, when he gave up his spirit, his soul, he knew when he said that, he put it in the Father's hand, when he yelled out, um, I can't pronounce it, Eli, Eli, you know, it's a mud eye or something like that. I cannot pronounce, you know, Jewish. Um, when he yelled it out and he says, I commend my spirit, in other words, into your hands. In other words, he's trusting the master. Well, that's what we're doing. We are trusting Jesus, our Savior, to protect us, to keep us. To guard us, to love us, um, to show us that he's that we believe who he says he is. We take him at his word. Uh, we stand on his word. We believe that he's the Son of God, and Jesus knew Father God, and He is God. Him and the Father, Son, they're three, but they're one, and. Um, he took it all for us, and he gave us a path back to get to Father God, Abba Father, Yahweh, Jehovah, Elohim, Je Jehovah Elohim, um, Misi, and so on. And uh, when he took this on him, uh, himself, and uh, he gave us a path. Uh, back to the Father, and he conquered hell in the grave. What Jesus did was he conquered death. See, none of us had a choice when we passed away. Uh, everybody went down to the middle of the earth. Some was in a gulf. Uh, people called paradise, but people were in in in, in the um, the gulf. You know, the rich man, the poor man, and. He looked over and asked Lazarus to tell uh, Abraham to let Lazarus come dip his tongue, which a lot of you know this. 
But when Jesus, uh, you know, when Mary was the first one who seen Jesus, and she called him Rabboni, and, and Master, and she fell at his feet, and, and he said, Don't touch me, I haven't been to my Father yet. When Jesus descended to heaven, and he came, and he uh, walked 40 days upon his earth, many rose with him on that day. When Jesus passed away, there was a great earthquake. But when Jesus, um, Yeshua, gave his life for each of us, no matter whom you are, he don't love one better than the other. God and the Holy Spirit and Jesus love everybody that chose hell. They chose hell. Listen up. Nobody's in hell by accident. Nobody's in heaven by accident. It's a choice God gave every man, woman, and child. We make this choice in our understanding, we come to the knowledge of understanding right from wrong, and, and we come to the understanding of who he, you know, that we have a choice. And every man, everybody that's ever passed away, they didn't pass away without knowing. Um, he's, he says, go into the world and preach the gospel, because many people, um, well, they don't have the gospel uh, around them, but many know that there is a creator okay and he said the gospel will preach into all the earth sin is a murderer sin is the opposite of what jesus is jesus is life sin is hell death and the grave sin um destroys mankind uh everything has to die under man we have to cut grass. It kills the grass. We cut trees down to build our homes. We take the metals from the earth and destroy the earth. We walk upon the earth. I mean, mankind, uh, everything that is ever made by a man, it um, t made by man. I'm not talking about gems and stuff. I'm talking about m things made by mankind. Eventually, it will uh, disappear. And, um, but to get back who Jesus is. So Jesus came to earth and he died and he, uh, and he rose and he walked the earth for 40 days. And when he descended into heaven, the Holy Spirit, so-called, packed his bags up and he come down to live inside mankind, even though the Holy Spirit is everywhere. He's everywhere at all times. The same with Jesus and God. Devil cannot be everywhere at one time. He has to give orders. He is not, um, I can't pronounce the word, all meant to men. He cannot be everywhere. But God is. And um, Jesus gave you and me, and if you don't know Jesus, uh, please listen to what the Lord you know, says. The Bible was written to the child of God. A lot of people get mad. Well, um, that's for sin. No, the sinner's already on their way to hell. They're already separated. This is talking to a child of God that uh, has walked away from willingly against, uh, away from the Lord Jesus Christ. And a lot of people get angry at that. That's not my words. That's the Bible. That is the word of the living God. You know, um, Jesus, he put all things and gave us all things. He um, gave us life. And um, we have a choice up until we leave this world. And once we leave this world, we have no say. So we make our mind up before that we leave this world. We have to walk a pure path unto Jesus. Uh, and people say, well, you can't help. You sin every day. That's why you, if you, not just at night, you ask the Lord, say, Lord, forgive me. If I have defended anybody, or if I have um, hurt anybody unwillingly, if I, uh, and if you know you did something, you get it under the blood instantly. Don't wait until nighttime when you go to bed. When you go to bed, you still pray. You pray in the morning. I pray in the Holy Ghost. A lot of people don't believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Please turn that down. Sean, I'm on the film. Turn it down. And, um, She's listening to the Gaithers or Guy Penrod. And um, and Jesus, um, get that book walk done, please. Do your science. And um, in the, uh, what was I saying, Lord Jesus? Oh, tell me to get off here. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, 
in Jesus, he gave us a way. Turn up here. <laughs> Turn your head. What do you think I got my head turned? It is. Or do your history. Yeah, do your history. No, science. Do your science first. Uh, make sure you pay attention. Read it. Not just scam it. Read it. Read it. Read it. And as I was saying, um, I know this is probably going to be a long video. I don't know uh, how many. Uh, 15 minutes. Okay. And Jesus, um, when he, uh, okay, he sent it to the Father, he made a way, he took his blood and he put it on, on the altar. I heard a testimony of a young man that um, went on the other side. A lot of people do not believe in that. But the Lord showed him heaven and he showed him the altar and Jesus' blood is still there. And that makes so much sense until, you know, because God burns the offering up and um, until the last person says yes to the Lord, you know, to the end of the millennium after, you know, the seven years of tribulation. But I'm not going to get into that. Um, I believe you have, everybody have sins. All have fallen short of the glory of God. That's why you come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. But when the Holy Spirit is in you, He will show you where you, um, you mess up. You know instantly you messed up. There ain't no two shoots about that. A true child of God does not commit, go and plot to commit sin. They don't plot to do these things. Uh, we all lose our cool. Uh, we all um, get frustrated because it's an attack from the enemy. It's not from you. Uh, just like if a, you have a bad thought, or I'm talking about any type of bad thought. Um, or you know how like people have road rage and they yell. I laugh at my husband all the time for this and my daughter, but they yell at the other person in the car, and I'm going, they can't hear you, and that's wrong. You shouldn't do that. And um, I have done it a few times when I first started driving, and I realized the Lord rebuked me instantly. And said, "Bell, what are you doing?" And I'm like, uh, "Yelling." <laughs> Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> and yes, the Lord does speak to a child of God. If you are a true child of God, God speaks to you. God talks to you in many, many, many ways. And He literally can talk to you. You can hear Him. So in your spirit man or in the Word talks to you or you hear um, someone else speak about the Word of God. It could be a minister or just a person. Um, God is using you two a lot. Um, I see him on Facebook, but a lot of people ignore you on Facebook. Um, the Lord, uh, well, I was going to go off Facebook and the Lord told me not to, but I want to get back to what the Lord's told me to uh, get off guard here. Um, the Lord um, has said, uh, Jesus through his blood and his resurrection power are we saved. It is a gift of God. There's Jesus again. There's Jesus. This is my granddaughter's room. So, this is Shauna's room, everybody. She loves her stuffed animals. This is her. Oh, um, when she's 11, she's going to be 13. This is my daughter. This is my baby, everybody. Uh-huh, that's my baby. And there's us three. Mommy, granddaughter, and baby. And, uh, my daughter painted that. But this is Shauna's little room. Go through it. There's Jesus again. There's Jesus again. <laughs> I love my Lord. And then Shauna has, you know, uh, I guess that's supposed to be an angel. I liked it, and I just bought it for her. Still. But... Um, to get Narnia, everybody, Narnia. Um, to get, this is me and my husband's room. Pat and Pam. You know, we still have our little, ah, that's my little bedroom. It's very tiny. But I'm thankful. <laughs> Jesus, he's good. <laughs> he's good to us, isn't he? And, uh, well, as I was saying, um, 
So Jesus, you, there, we don't get into heaven no other way. The only way we get into heaven is through the blood of Jesus and the work that he done on the Calvary. He done on the cross. There is no other way you're going to get in to heaven. You come to him and you realize that you are lost and that what he really done at Calvary. Jesus literally, he gave his life. He came to this earth, walked among us. He walked among us. He, 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 he walked, turn that down for a minute. He walked among us. And he, and he, and he, um, and he gave us, uh, a way, a bridge, you know, back to the Father. And, only through Jesus' blood and resurrection power are we going to enter the kingdom of heaven. There is no other way we're going to enter in. There is no other path. It's only through Jesus. It's a narrow path. And it ain't a hard path. You hear people say it's hard to be a Christian. I have been a child of God for a very, very long time. Well, I was born again in 1969. I backslid as a teenager because I could not read, which is in some of my testimonies that people do not listen to, back in the old videos. But um, the Holy Spirit taught me how to read when I was 18 years old. I bluffed my way through school, literally. Um, I'm one of them people you hear about. And I got through school. And now you put a document in front of me, and I about understand every bit of it. It's only through Jesus. I'm nothing without Jesus, but I'm everything with Jesus. Jesus gave his life, and he gave it more and more abundantly. And uh, we're supposed to get a snowstorm tonight. See out there? We're supposed to get a snowstorm tonight. Um... I love this. They are same. Shalom. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. But, uh, <clears throat> Jesus, He truly loves us and He truly gave us. See what time it is. Oh my, it's going to run out. He gave us, um, through His Son, now we all have an advocate with the Father for forgiveness. And now if we sin, if we sin, did you notice it said if? If we sin, we have an advocate with the Father to ask for forgiveness. Now He said that. That come out of His mouth. If we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. And... Through the Holy Spirit, that helps us stay clean because if we do wrong, He's going to reveal it to you and He's going to reveal it really strong. And yes, you can live a life where you can overcome all temptations. All temptations. Um, he is the true life. He is the way. Um, he will show you and guide you and guard you. This is going to end. I, I, I see in the back of my, my flip's going to go off. Um, sh Jesus loves you. Um, uh, if, if I can put up another one, because a lot of people don't watch two of them when you put them up. But Jesus loves you. Jesus is the truth and the life and, and the way. No man's going to come unto the Father except through Jesus and His truth and His life. Um, we are nothing without Jesus, but we are everything with Him. He is our. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man could come unto the Father except through Him. Through His shed blood and His resurrection power are we saved. It is a gift of God that we are saved. And... Um, I send his word, and his word cannot turn void.
yatana na na sikriya tar shikriya tere shikriya tar sinu namatya i send his word and it will heal you and his word is truth and a life father god open the eyes of those that are blind and the accuser of the blind and forgive them father god and let no sin be held at their charge jesus you know who i am and you know who my brothers and sisters are out there that truly are your children jesus i put all things at your feet in jesus name Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Jesus loves you. Amen. Granny Bell, signing off.